Okay, now we're talking about the French and Indian War. I added the map, put the map up, because I want you to see where this happened. So hopefully it'll help us to uh, make a little bit more sense of why this was important. So let's go through the who, what, where, when, why. So who was doing the fighting? We can end it here. Who? So this was Great Britain versus France. So the French and Indian War was the Great Britain was Great Britain versus France. Well, French and Indian versus Great Britain versus England. Native Americans fought on both sides of this. They fought for Great Britain. They also fought for France. But for the most part, Native Americans tended to side with France in this fight. Who? The what? Well, we could say. That's the French and Indian War. It was actually part of the Seven Years' War. It's not in the Teaks. You don't need to know it for the test. But the Seven Years' War was an intercontinental. It was a, it was a worldwide war, kind of. They were fighting everywhere. So it was Great Britain and France fighting in a lot of different places. And there were other countries involved, too. Russia was involved, and Austria was involved. A lot of different countries were involved. So the French and Indian War was just part of this larger conflict, and it was the part of the conflict located in North America. Hmm? So who, what, where, where did these things happen? Well, the colonies were kind of like here. Colonies were kind of here. Right? These were the colonies. Lots and lots of people. Two million, two and a half million, depends on when we are counting. The Appalachian Mountains, right here. The Appalachian Mountains and the Ohio River Valley is in here. Okay? Now, all of this territory, as we saw before, was claimed by the French. Now, there weren't that many French over here. Because as we saw earlier, the French didn't build big settlements. They didn't invest in infrastructure, not like the British did. British sent lots and lots of people, or lots and lots of people came. They tried to establish cities, and eventually they, they did. They grew. We have these big cities, relatively big anyway. Lots and lots of people over here, sparsely populated, at least in terms of French. Now, there were Native Americans here, of course, but not a lot of French over here. But this was French claim territory kind of in kind of in here through here kind of up this way actually this was claimed by the french if we remember for from our early earlier video of uh exploration and settlement of north america right. now there was kind of this agreement that the colonists weren't british colonists weren't to go over the mountains the appalachian mountains here into this territory but they did. And that was one of the reasons for the French and Indian War. Another reason was they were fighting all over the world in various places. And there were some other territorial disputes kind of over here. But when the colonists go across, say in Pennsylvania and Virginia, and they start to encroach on French territory, well... The British have to send some troops over here. Uh, a lot of the troops that fought, a lot of the troops that were sent were colonial militias, right? There were colonial troops, but still, it was paid for by the British. It was organized by the British, for the most part. And things happen, and war starts. So, where was it? It was, I guess I answered the where and the why at the same time. The why was, and this is why, and we'll write all this down in our column once I remove this map in, in a moment. The why was some territorial disputes and colonists were coming over, army had to be sent to protect them, and fighting eventually happened, and it was connected to the Seven Years' War. Right, that's part of that. And where was it? It was in the Ohio River Valley. So this is the current state of Ohio. Kind of in this area, a lot of the fighting. Some of it was up here. 
but a lot of fighting in this area. Some was over here, kind of. But n none of the fighting was in the colonies, not really. Right? You didn't really have any fighting down here in the colonies. It was all to the west of that. Right? So that's the French and Indian War. And what else do I need to tell you about that? Um, don't know if it's going to be on the test, but a lot of the junior officers that fought in the French and Indian War ended up fighting in the Revolutionary War. George Washington was 22. He was a young officer, and he commanded some troops, some colonial troops in battles over here. They would cross the mountains, and they would fight in various places. Right? So we have political context, economic context, French and Indian War. How does the French and Indian War fit with all of this? That's what's going to come next.